you seem to have had a unique relationship with tanks uh, over the years. What do you remember from the time you started up a tank in the garage? Well, first of all, let me just tell you that my fascination with tanks and with big trucks comes from that when I grew up as a kid, we were occupied by the British. It was after the Second World War. And so there were tanks driving by our house and big trucks driving by, soldiers jumping out and uh, surveying the area and looking through the binoculars and jumping back in again and all this. And always kind of uh, were very sweet to us kids. You know, they kind of put us up on the, on the tank and we could stand on the tank and, you know, kind of play around and they would give us candies. So they were trained because they were the occupiers. They were trained on how to really reach out to the community and not make them, make us look at them as in a hostile way. And they were very good at that. And so but I saw this monster tank. So, so when I grew up and when I went into the army, you know, I said, I want to be a tank driver. But at the same time, you know, I was not a 21-year-old guy. I went in, into the army early. I was at the age of 18. So I was an 18-year-old kid, still really not yet ripe enough, I would say, to take on the responsibility of a 50-ton tank. But there I was, I was going through tank driving school and I uh, passed uh, you know, easily, was very, very excited and enthusiastic, studied everything about the tank and then there I had my own tank. And I started driving the tank and it was wonderful and information driving and all this stuff. But there were accidents that happened. Um, and uh, one of them, for instance, was like, I was inside the garage and did my daily routine of warming up the tank. So, which means that you, you get into the tank, you crawl in, and then you pull the lever on the bottom of the, of the seat, and the, the, the seat goes down, jung. So now you're gone now below, um, you can't really see out, <clears throat> and now you're looking at the gauges, and you, you're turning on the engine and the gauges, and you check out and so to make sure the oil warms up and the engine warms up, and all of the stuff before you drive it. You're supposed to check that the hand brakes are on, you're supposed to check that the gear is out, and all but that's, of course, stuff that I was too busy thinking about. And so I just ran this engine and somehow I got into the reverse gear and then started, you know, the car started, the, 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 the tank started, you know, shaking. And I said to myself, this is kind of odd. I'm sitting out in this and this is shaking. And then all of a sudden, you know, I, and I'm trying to switch things around. And then all of a sudden I felt dust coming down from the top. And then all of a sudden I felt water. Then I smelled gas. And so I literally ran with my tank through the building, through the wall, and broke the gas pipes and the water pipes and everything that was there, and bricks were coming, falling down and everything like that. So then I stopped and I realized that I was in deep trouble. So I stopped, I got out of my tank, I looked around and I said, oh shit. <laughs> This is trouble. <laughs> so I said, Mr. Wait a minute. There was an officer right down in the corner that the day this morning gave me these unbelievable compliments. He said, you're fantastic. You're a great tank driver and all this kind of stuff. And I said, said maybe I have to go back to him now. He will have sympathy. He likes me. So I went back to him and I said, uh, you know, sorry, but I had this little accident, can you check it out? He said, ah, don't worry about it, Schwarzenegger. Yeah, yeah. He walked out of the thing. <laughs> he had no idea what I meant by a little accident. I thought that, that I just went into driving into a can or something like that. And he looked like this, and he started screaming. I mean, he started screaming, he didn't stop. He almost died. He almost got a heart attack. This is how, how he freaked out. So anyway, <laughs> so it was incidences like that that, um, that were not pretty, and uh, so I had my fair share of accidents with the tank.